Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will cover how to set the system date and time on a call management system Solaris server. First, I will go over a few slides covering the information and common command syntax. Then I will demonstrate changing the date and time on a lab CMS server. You must be logged in as a root level user to change the system date or time. But any user can view the current system date and time. The CMS historical data is archived based on the time sent from the communication managers that CMS is monitoring. But it is still very important that the CMS system date and time are set correctly. This is to ensure that log messages, log files, and other system files have the correct date and timestamps. This will facilitate troubleshooting of issues. The date command is located in the slash user slash bin directory. So you must have slash user slash bin in your path environment variable or type in the full path to execute the date command. The env command can be used to display your environment variables, including the path variable. This slide shows some typical error messages for the date command. The bad conversion message is displayed if incorrect command syntax is entered. The not owner message means you tried to change the system date or time without being logged in as a root level user. These error messages may be followed by a usage message that displays the proper command syntax. Now I will go over a couple of slides with the most commonly used date command formats. Entering the date command with no parameters will display the current system date and time. This is the only format that can be executed by all users as nothing is being changed. If you want to change only the hour and minute, but leave the month, day, and year alone, then type the date command followed by a two-digit hour and a two-digit minute. The two-digit hour parameter is in a 24-hour format. The valid values are 00 to 23. 00, 0 being 12 a.m., 12 would be 12 p.m., up to 23 for 11 p.m. The two-digit minute can be from 00, 0 to 59. At minimum, you must specify hour and minute values to make a change with the date command. This format would typically be used if you only need to change the hour and the minute such as for daylight savings time, or if the system time was only slightly incorrect. If you need to change the entire date or several parameters, then use the syntax as shown on this slide. The month parameter is first. It is two digits from 0, 1 to 12. The day of the month is also two digits, from 0, 01 to 31, depending on how many days in that particular month. The hour and minute formats are the same as I went over on the previous slide. The optional year is broken into two parameters. CC stands for the two digit century. An example is 20 for the years 2000 through 2099. If you don't enter a century value, but do enter the two-digit year value, the system will set the century based on the year value that you entered. The valid two-digit year values are 00, 00 to 99. If no century digits are entered, then a year value from 00, 00 to 68 will be set as 2000 to 2068. A year value of 69 to 99 will be set as year 1969 to 1999. This means there are two ways to set the year as 2012. 
enter the entire four digits of 2012, or skip the century value and enter 12, and the system will infer the century as 20 and set the year as 2012. Both year parameters are optional. If no values are specified for the year, then it will be left as it is currently set. Then only the month, day, hour, and minute would be changed. Now I will demonstrate setting the system date and time on a CMS lab system. I am logged into a lab CMS as the root user. I will enter the env command to display the current environment variables. The path variable shows that slash user slash bin is part of the path. So I can enter the date command that is located in the slash user slash bin directory without entering the full path name. If slash user slash bin was not part of my path variable, then I would need to prefix the date command with the slash user slash bin each time it was entered. Now I am going to enter the date command with no parameters to display the current date and time setting. The current system date and time is displayed on the screen. Now I will change just the hour and minute values. To do this, I will type the date command followed by a new two-digit hour and two-digit minute. The updated date and time displays with the hour as 16 and the minute as 20, but the month, day, and year did not change. If I type the date command again, you will see that the time has continued to increase. Now I will demonstrate changing the entire date, including the month, day, and year. I changed the date to March 15, 9.45 a.m., the year 2011. Now I used a four-digit year of 2011, and you can see that the year shows as 2011. Now I will demonstrate changing the date and time back using just a two-digit year. The display shows the updated date and time with the year as 2012. What I've demonstrated are the most common uses of the date command to modify the system date and time. You can also use the MAN command for manual page to see more information about the date command and its usage. To do this, the easiest way is to type MAN space date and then pipe it to the page command for easier viewing. The first manual page for the date command appears. Then you will hit enter to see the next page and so on. To quit viewing the manual page, enter Q. This concludes this video on setting the CMS system date and time. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor.